welcome to Podcast versus Player. It is spoiler cast time for Loki season two. I am joined by my time partner. It's Dan. Hello, and I'm joined by my time partner. It's Miss Minutes himself, Callum Povey. Oh, I thank you, guys, sir. Oh, I thank you, oh. sir. Oh. <laughs> yeah, episode three, Callum, 1983. 1893. No, that's the one. I knew one of us was going to get it wrong. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad it was me. <laughs> Pretty good episode, i got to say. Right. Um, we finally, spoilers, uh, obviously, it's in the title, but just in case. Mm. Um, but we finally get to see He Who Remains, a variant of, rather. Yes. So I can't remember if we talked about when we thought that Kang was actually going to start showing up. Um, I, I, I honestly can't remember. I didn't think it would be this early, but I'm pretty sure I said it would either be like a teaser mm. at like the end of the episode or it would be the whole episode would be him. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I knew. So I remember that from at the, at the end of season one of Loki... There was a a, a a teaser for season two, which is them. I'm pretty sure that they were sat in an auditorium, they was. and then Kang came on the stage and was like, uh, "That's him. That that, that was <laughs> that's <laughs> what he said." <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> and then they switched it out, and it was stood up. So mm. I genuinely thought that when he walked out on the stage, and it like the setting had changed slightly, and they were all stood up, I was like, "Oh my god, they reshot it. It's not mm. him." I thought it's not it's That's not John. Thing. It's yeah yeah, 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 yeah. They've actually, but then like the lights went up and it was, and I was like, huh? Then what the fuck was the first season about? Where did they get that? Do they just come up with that and said, well, this is going to be in the second season, so fuck it, we'll shoot it while we got the chance to. Do you, well, I mean, I can't remember without going back and having a look. Is this the same variant? Yes, it was Victor Timely. I'm sure it was because again, right. it was the same sort of like Wild Westy. Like so, I knew as soon as the uh, like the Marvel intro came on and it was like all yeah. old timey Wild Westy piano. I was like, here he is. Like, cause I, I remembered that they were sat in like a dusty, uh, like theater in like old yeah. sort of like, you know, early, uh, well, sort of like 1800s, uh, like period costume where it was like, oh my God, that's him. Soon as that piano kicked in, I was like, this is the one. Here he is. That's, I rem- that's, I remember that's, that's that Kang. Yeah. Well, I was, I, cause what I was thinking was, because obviously he says to um, I can't remember her name, Ryan uh, Renslayer. Woman. Renslayer, sorry, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, she says to her like he needs to get this book to him when he's a kid, and then mm. obviously he'll learn all about it. Blah blah blah. That potentially could be in other timelines as well, which made me think it might not be the exact same one as the end of season one. Potentially, but then that would be very odd if they went, well, we've done this particular Kang at the end of Loki season one, where they're like, oh my God, that's him again. Hmm. And then we've gone to the exact same time period with another guy that's on stage that looks exactly the same, and they've gone, oh my God, that's the guy. But that's not the same one? It, it's it's most likely, it most likely is, and then they've just tweaked it when they've when they've done this shoot on hmm. it. Um, but it was just the fact that I, I'm sure I remembered the... the kind of like post credit scene for Loki season one. But I don't remember it in that much detail. So it was, just it was the a... only thing that I kind of remembered so much of, I think. It was, I imagine it, my logic thinking being that that should be the jump off point for season two, but obviously it wasn't. And that's, no, what, ma- that's no. what made me think. Maybe but, it's just a different version of him. But yeah, I think they've, probably not. yeah, I think they've just tweaked it slightly. Mm. So, it, again, they 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 probably said, "Look, we're going to have multiple variants. This one's going to be like a wild westy kind of variant. Um, mm. It's probably going to look like this." Um, so it doesn't really matter because it was more of a like it was a tease for what was going to be in season two, yeah. and yeah. it was going to be Kang that was going to be in it, and he was going to be multiple versions of him. Um, not this is the exact shot that we're going to use in the next <laughs> season. Um, but I, I I I thought the the setting was great. The fact that Owen Wilson's just he's just enjoying just being in different time periods yeah Eating popcorn he's just and stuff. like loki's just sort of like should we just get on with the job he's like yeah well we're here let's just get a bite to eat let's just do a little <laughs> thing you know i i feel like i'd be i i'd be like yeah this is important you know time's going to explode but while we're here let's just get <laughs> let's just get a little bit of food you know if you go to like you know 1950s america oh my god i was gonna say if you went to 1950s america you'd have to try like a burger from the 1950s in america 
Back to McDonald's immediately. Oh, Fuck God. me. Here we go. Every episode. <laughs> I know, but it, it would be... You'd have to try it. Even if you were there to solve a murder or whatever, you'd be like, ah, well, the when original you go Big Max. Yeah, ex- exactly. I mean, to be fair, they do work in a place where they can access all the time space, but... Yeah, but when they get home, that it might be bloody taken out the timeline. They can never get Yeah, that, those might be the only Cracker Jacks of all of time and space and multiverse and whatever that ever taste exactly like that. <gasps> You could go back to when Smarties actually tasted delicious and full of E numbers. Yeah, I don't think that's worth the time stream. <laughs> that wouldn't like... be <laughs> like specifically for that. <laughs> but... Should we go back and see the dinosaurs or you know oh, the birth of Jesus? Let's see if that happened. No, no, Smarties. <laughs> I want to go back thirty years and check out Smarties. Do you, do you remember when Five Alive used to stain your skin? <laughs> like... <laughs> that was no, Sunny Delight. Not Five Alive, Sunny Delight. What was Five yeah. Alive? I think that it was, was just the, a knockoff. No, that Five Alive was the uh, the orange. It was an ice lolly, but it was like a triangle. Do you remember? Something in me kind of does, no, and I, I don't def- know. We'll, we won't. I won't look now, but I'll find a picture of it and send it to you. Uh, yeah, okay. You, okay. You've definitely had one in your life, but yeah, yeah probably, Sunny yeah. D is what I was actually referring to. Um, yeah. I will say though, alleged. Domestic violence aside, he was fucking excellent in this episode. I don't know. I felt his like stuttering and uh, sort it of got like, a bit, couldn't really. It got a bit old. Ah, but it, it kind of the, there was a few bits where I just I didn't feel convinced by it anymore. Like because I thought like the, the the part that he he you know he built this sort of like mini precursor to the the, the time loom and it was like this incredible yeah. electric machine and then people are like yeah I'll pay you a grand for it which I didn't work out what the conversion is but I assume it's quite a lot. <laughs> Zoe actually asked me she was like what would that be in today's money I was like I fucking know. Like, <laughs> I, don't know what, I don't know what today's money is in today's money. <laughs> <laughs> but you know then it turns out the whole thing was uh, like so clearly he's built it but he's done hmm. to be a con man. Great yeah what a great little bait and switch love that but then I thought he'd drop that. I thought he was just going to be like, he was going to be just like a normal dead smart, yeah. very articulate. But then he just maintained it. And I was like, oh God, we've got to have this sort of like stuttering, spluttering idiot. I, I think it's mostly that I I could be miles off the mark here, but I, I, I took it as he wasn't always like that. And learning all about the TVA has just sent him a bit mental. No, I, I think if that was the case, I don't think he'd be... He'd be inventing stuff from the book he'd be as far away from it as possible it'd be like Potentially. having a pamphlet that someone gave you that explains how the universe works yeah. and it would be so unbelievable it would drive you insane just by like you wouldn't be like i'm just kind of normal but i've got a bit of a stutter now <laughs> like it yeah. felt like he was just he's very sort of like a nervous kind of turn of the century nerd kind of thing yeah. and I, I don't know it just i think he was fine in it honestly um but I much prefer the the original flavor yeah, Kang that the, we got. Like he he who remains. In- yeah, he he was like a genuinely sort of like oh this guy could actually be like proper like no wonder Loki was shitting in his pants when he saw him. Like if that was the first one you met, no wonder Owen Wilson was like what this guy this this is the guy you're terrified about <laughs> this really. <poor> little idiot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I thought I thought he would drop it and then he would just be like sort of big scary and he's like yeah it's just an act to trick the punters. Well, he, he seemed to get that like when. Um... There's two occasions of it. One with the guy, and he was just like, "We're gonna like like be partners," and he's just like, "I don't, I don't, uh, yeah, I don't do partners." In, in, in partners, and there was yeah. no story and everything. It was a bit deeper and like dark. But then he just kind of like went back to normal. And then on the boat with Renslayer, um, which is and like, he, when he gonna... dumps her off, yeah, yeah. When he's sort of staring at her, I was just like, "Yeah, that that seems more like it." And that's it. But it it, it also could be that it's he is this kind of nervous person but this version of Kang that you see those very those very brief glimmers of throughout this Mm. episode that's who um, I'd like to think that that's the case then yeah so that's what Miss Minutes is trying to do she's like yeah "Yeah, I know that the Kang that I know is in there somewhere and we're kind of seeing glimpses of it I'd like to think that that is the case Um, so I'm hopeful um, but mm. I thought as soon as like he dumped her off the boat, he'd be like, right, that's it. I haven't got to pretend for anyone. I've got a cool cartoon ghost clock that's going <laughs> to... Also, <laughs> no issues with that. A, a giant cartoon clock going enormous and then stomping around, scaring everyone. That's not going to fuck and up time, is it? No, no? Not not even just that. It's He was the only one that wasn't bothered about it. <laughs> I did make a note of that. So I've actually made notes this week, Callum. Oh. Um, 
one of the things that I did note is when they got to the um, like after they escaped from the the, the sort of the fair and got back to yeah. his room, and he's he's just sort of like, oh, outstanding, well done, thank you for your help. And I was like, there's a floating cartoon. Like, how is your mind not exploding at the moment? I get that you're you're a smart guy, you're a smart guy, but that's a, that's still. If I saw that, I'd freak the fuck out. Yeah, I'd shit me pants, especially like in it, that uh, day and age. No, uh, yeah. So I was just like, he he was very accepting of this <laughs> this floating cartoon, which again that doesn't exist even as a concept at yeah. that time. There's no there's no films, there's no cartoons, there's no nothing. There might yeah, be a, a newspaper. White, oh, I mean, I like the fact she was like, oh shit, you'll blend it, you, you'll stand out. She's like, hmm, this will fix it. Black and white. Yeah, you're still a floating <laughs> clock though. Yeah, I love it. So cool. One thing that I did, that, not. Not wind me up's the wrong terminology, but when uh, Sylvie's come and they're on the uh, Ferris wheel, mm. like cart thing, and then um, she <laughs> explodes them out, and then Kang gets away, and she's just like, "Look what you've done! You're happy? No, you fucking did this. <laughs> you both kind of did it. Yeah. Loki didn't. No, oh, Loki was no. They exploded each other. It. They did the they did the Wonder Twins explosion blast, but at each other." Yeah, it was, it obviously it was to, to get rid of the other one. But mm. it's just like, I mean, most of this is your fault. <laughs> I mean, all of this is your fault. If you hadn't killed him in the first place, wouldn't be here. Also, um, a, another note that I made is that Sylvie obviously shows up um, to, to kill this variant. Um, but how did... So uh, I, I would give them the fact that maybe she tracked uh, the, the same Renslayer time pad usage. But I thought that now that she'd secured her branch on the timeline, she wasn't too fussed about whatever. Like she was sort of like, "I killed the guy. Everyone's got their own free will back." And then she was just sort of not super interested in kind of joining the the, the fight to save the rest of reality of it. Like because Loki explains that to her, he's like, "No, no, no. We need this guy because the TVA is going to explode, and if that explodes, everybody dies everywhere, ev- all the time, forever." And then she, uh, like, she's like, "Oh." Um, uh, oh, what, what was it? Um, I wrote it somewhere. Oh yeah. So she, when she's in the uh, in the, the the Ferris wheel thing with Loki and and Victor, and she's like, oh, you know, well, Renslayer. She gave him the book, and she's turned him. She's trying to turn him into this, you know, the man who lives forever or whatever. Yeah. How did she know that? How did she know she went back to a particular point in time and then dropped a book on him, and then he would then use that to and then follow him? Like, how did how did she know all that happened? Did I miss something? No. I couldn't, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> it's not explained if it, if it is. Potentially, it will be explained in the next episode, and maybe she's... Because she's still got a temp pad. Maybe Well, maybe... Uh, the, do you know what I think it could be, right? So the, the Sylvie that we saw before, who's at McDonald's... Hello, McDonald's. Welcome back, our old friend. Oh, I see where you're going to go. It's a different Sylvie. Yeah. It's, it's one from the future. This so she already one... knows what's already has happened. So that's this... the one that Loki bumped into. This is the one that um, pruned Loki. Potentially, yeah. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. So that's, that's a good. Oh, that's a good guess, Dan. That that's Very the only. Good. It's either that they didn't, uh, they shot something that they didn't end up putting in the episode. Um, it's a continuity thing that I don't think they realised, or. It turns out that after all of this, the other Sylvie, she'd like, I killed him. That's all I wanted to do. I'm going to yeah. work my shifts at McDonald's and set up my truck. my life. Yeah. Until something happens it's, in the future, yeah. then she ends up sort of time hopping around and then goes back to killing because she knows he becomes him again kind of thing, maybe. Yeah. It's not the end of it. She knows it's not the end of it. She's maybe, the end. but she's, she's doing quite a good job of trying to kill this guy so far. I mean, not really. Just failed. <laughs> yeah, but he talked her out of it. Like she, she'd exploded that room and had him at knife point, and he was yeah. like, "Oh, you don't know who I actually am." And she's sort of like, uh, "Maybe." <laughs> but that—that's, yeah. I feel that original Sylvie from season one would have killed him. Yeah, as, she as didn't she seem did. to. <laughs> yeah, but she was also, she was just after the one. Yeah, like she, she, she wasn't, didn't. she wasn't like in a quest to kill them all. Like she was the one who created them all. Well, she did. She didn't buy any of it, did she? Well, I bet she's fucking kicking herself now, <laughs> isn't she? <laughs> I do like that he's still just sat in the chair though, and he's all withered away. Yeah. Well. Um. So a few other things. Um. We got a uh, a Thor 
and Odin, and even mm. a Baldor uh, statue in this, which is interesting because Baldor's another son of Odin in Norse mythology, but yeah, yeah. he's never been in the MCU. So I don't know if that character exists as a Norse figure in the same way that Thor and Loki do. Um, but I don't know if you saw or not, but on the statue of Thor, the Mjolnir that's at his feet is the exact Mjolnir from the MCU. I didn't notice that. So the carving is, it, it's it's the Insane. Mjolnir from that one. So how the fuck did they get that so right? I mean, I assume it's just so we know it's Thor, because realistically... Oh, well, so the, the word above him saying Thor. <laughs> no, that, no, no, no. That but didn't I mean, give it away, yeah. The, the, when you see the statues, is there only, is there only, pff, only Odin that looks like Odin? The other two just look like two guys. But I, yeah. I, all I'm going to say is just to touch on yeah, the, the previous question. I don't... Th- I assume he does, but obviously we've never seen him. Uh, but Loki does comment on it, and he's something like, like, why is there a statue of Baldur? Like, nobody knows who Baldur is. <laughs> like, yeah. But does that mean honest, that there is know, another... So in, the, in like the Hela... <laughs> well, yeah, also, that's probably how most people know it. <laughs> but, like, Hela isn't mentioned. Mm. And... What, why would Boulder be there, but Hela isn't? I suppose it's A, a potential upcoming character that we are going to see in a new Thor film or Avengers film or something, or they don't know about Hela yet. Presumably, yeah. Like, that would be a hell of a statue. It's like Odin and Thor, and they're very, you know, sort of like noble, righteous leader. And then Hela mm. with that ridiculous fucking spiked Medusa helmet. Yeah. It'd be like, why have we got a statue of this terrifying woman here? What the fuck's this about? <laughs> There, there is a line in it um, from that scene where Mobius is like, I keep Morpheus. Like, sorry, <laughs> I'm going to change it every time. <laughs> Thing is, though, I genuinely doubt myself. <laughs> <laughs> when, when M says that, <laughs> um, he's just like, I always forget. Like, you're one of these. Like, you're yeah, one of them. It's, it's so cool. cool. It's, it's yeah. so cool. It's crazy. And then, as he said it, like as he finished the sentence, I was like, "Oh yeah, Loki's a fucking Norse god." I keep yep. thinking he's just part of the fucking TVA. <laughs> like... <laughs> well, he's he's adopted it very like he's he's like he's like uh, your Mel Gibson lethal weapon detective now, isn't he? He's just sort yeah. of like he's just sort of gone, yeah, fuck it, I'm I'm a cop and I'm the best one. And everyone at the TVA is like, "Sure, I guess." Yeah, I'm not going to question it. Yeah. What's weird again, though, we've had an, we've had another thing, two two things actually, don't we? Uh, we've had a, another two instances where he didn't use his powers and he should have. Um, um, I'm assuming the first one you mean is when they're trying to chase down Victor and Renslayer yeah, after yeah, they yeah. jump out of there. Yeah, and he should have just turned the shadows on him or whatever the fuck he yeah, did yeah. before. Just yep. Fucking grabbed him straight up. Or um, I thought, which I thought would have been very clever, he did the old, oh, come on, uh, I think they ran over here, let's go. And then as soon as they jump out, that was a hologram. And he goes, yeah. there you are. That, oh, That's that what I thought. That would have been a I lot thought that's better. what they were going to do, and then um, yeah, he they just got away. I suppose they just needed to go. He needs to get to this cool lab, and yeah, it's, Loki it's, can't just it's, be a god and stop him from doing that. It, 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 it's story beats, and obviously they is set up that way, but it's massively infuriating. <laughs> yep, yeah, never mind. Um, and then another thing that wasn't power related, I genuinely can't remember what it was now. Loki power. Where he transports that dude into a cage outside. That was pretty funny, though. Yeah, <laughs> and he was, was just like, the amazing Loki. I, he's here I'm surprised <laughs> that uh, he, he put him in a cage. I thought he just exploded him. I thought he teleported I was like, him. Cause he, well, he, he says to him, doesn't he? Because he's like, like, we'll take this outside. And he's like, yes, outside. That's a that's an excellent um, suggestion. Poof. Yeah. And he's like, oh, he's put him outside. But I assume he just put him outside. Not in a cage. <laughs> that, no, I, I just thought he killed. I suppose I'm still very much on, like... No, he's a bad guy. <laughs> he just explodes <laughs> if you get in the way. He's not a bad guy anymore. He's the new no, Tony no. Stark. He's going to be the that's... face of the MCU. Yeah, that's true, isn't it? Yeah, he's Which the I'm, new Star Lord. Um, but in the same, not the same scene. Sorry, in the scene where we get Sylvie and everyone um, exploding people towards the end. Yeah, we had another hair flip. I've it's... got hair flick written it's... down here. As soon as he picks himself up off the floor, he goes like, Wait! I spotted it. I just, I was, because I was pretty laid back by this point. Like, I was, like, <laughs> literally in my chair. And I just flew up. And I was just like, Hair flick. I fucking knew it. 
it's that time of the show, Dan, where we discuss the hair flips. And I said to Zoe, immediately after we did it, I went, Dan's not going to be happy. <laughs> that, I, I will forgive that one because he had just been like exploded across yeah, the room. Yeah. Although, you've got two hands, mate. Use them. It's not cool, though, is it? I'd argue that neither's that. I'm not saying he, neither are cool, but... I'd say, if it keeps getting in your face, cut it. <laughs> Put your hat back on. But Yeah, the... the horns, they don't keep getting in your eyes, do they? That's the point, yeah. But just wear that. That'll keep your hair nice and flat. But yeah. as somebody that had long hair for quite a long time, as, as did yourself, Daniel. Very much so, yeah. I used to, I used to do the hair flip to like, get the, my fringe out of my eyes when I was going through my emo phase. And yep. back when I was when I was much younger, and I had curtains because curtains were cool and everybody loved them, and I, and I wouldn't have a bad word said against them. But <laughs> um, did you also do the same thing that when you did get your hair cut and it was no longer you still flick, yeah, like still a flick. fucking tick, yeah, yep, absolutely, <laughs> I did, hundred percent. And I'm thinking, like maybe, like because a lot of the time, particularly this one. The jumping uh, ones from like the previous episode, we did it like six fucking times every time he came back from <laughs> um, what's it in out of being like stretched through time. Th- that one was notably the hair in the face. This mm. one, not so much so. And I'm I'm wondering maybe it's just he just does it now because he's just used to it. Yeah, potentially it's like maybe it's it's like I I do it all the time. Like so, um, when I smoked. I'll say that sort of like intermittently, you know, it kind of comes back on. But if I'm smoking and I'm on my uh, balcony, usually I'm kind of le- le- like leaning up against the door because I- ideally I don't really want the door open too much because I don't want the smoke to just blow back in. But what I'll do is um, sort of intermittently, I will just like adjust the glasses on my face. I'll just sort of like just sort of like move my head and just sort of like nudge them just so it just sort of repositions them on my nose. But when I've got the contacts in, I still do the same thing. Yeah, because it's just something you used to. It's just you this, associated it's like a with that muscle memory kind yeah. of thing. So you're just there, and I just go to do it, and I don't smack my head like an idiot because you don't do that often. <laughs> but I'll still move my head in the same, like in the same upward sort of like motion to sort of like move yeah. the glasses and go. Why did I do that? Like, I know <laughs> I'm not wearing them. I haven't put them on all day or whatever. <laughs> so we we could be getting angry. Oh, I say we mostly you. But I'd, get... I'd just stop it. <laughs> if I was the director, I'd be like, cut, what are you doing that for? Your hair's not even in your eyes, mate. What I am going to do is, when we've finished this season, You're I'm going, going to... Do a, to... A, a hair flick cut, super cut. Yeah. Super cuts, there you go. Su- oh, That's where he needs to go. He sort this fucking time. problem out. Thank you. <laughs> wasn't super cuts... Oh, no, I was, thinking of, I was going to say, wasn't that news agents, but that was super six. <laughs> no, super cuts is a hairdresser. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, but we only had one, only one this episode. Only we one. Had, we had none yeah. last episode. So, what we do you reckon we're going to build up, and it's going to be episode eight, and it's going to be forty-three minutes of pure hair flicking yeah, action. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> hair who remains? <laughs> or he's going to do one massive flick and break his own neck and kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the way to go. Just crack. And he's just down to the count. That'd be amazing. What a disappointing way to go. <laughs> if that was the end of episode, uh, like, so season two, I'd be like, do you know what, Marvel? You've got me. You've absolutely got me back in. The fact that he didn't have some sort of, like, cool... It's the same with, like, She-Hulk, where they just went, we're not going to have a big, like, cool punch-up or whatever. He's just going to... She's going to talk to Kevin Feige for a bit as a robot. Brilliant. <laughs> Great ending, because you subvert expectations. Yeah. If you've got, like, Loki and Sylvia, and there's a... 500 kangs and like you ready he's like yeah i'm ready flick crack and he goes down <laughs> and then credits i'd be like that's incredible like what an app like because that would get people talking for years about why in the hell did they do that i mean like i would probably be in the same boat where i'll be like oh i can't say i didn't see that coming because we've just talked about it on episode three but i'd be like yeah didn't see that coming but immediately after to be like Fuck off. I spent eight weeks watching this. <laughs> <laughs> that can't be how it ends. <laughs> I'd be I, I I'd want to be that annoyed though. Cause then that that's when I know that they've won. I, I don't know though, because I, I mean I could I'd probably that annoyed it's secret invasion. <laughs> and that would, oh, mm. the T the T V A must be aware of um like the scrolls and stuff, mustn't they? 
because of the different timelines and that. But the, the, okay. would would the scrolls affect the timelines? Because that's not what should have happened to, like, say, Rhodey, say. Or do you think it's always that's what's meant to happen? Uh, well, I'm assuming that anything outside of Loki is a part of the sacred timeline. So that's your canonical, that's I mean. you know. Yeah. So it should happen. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. 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 But we did get um, a very, again, criminally underused OB this uh, this episode. Um, but he yeah, he did comment on you know oh because of all the pruning that they did like the looms under control again so that makes sense because like I get that's what I said last time I was just yeah. like well isn't that kind of it I know it's billions of potential blah 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 whatever but doesn't that fix the problem like even temporarily it buys you some time right which is what he said but obviously because they're not continually pruning they're all just going to grow back anyway but it buys them yeah. time to build like a, an extension on it or whatever what. Do, do we know why they need to get into the like because they need to open the thing to get to the loom to fix before it explodes yep how because, because obviously of the, because of the branches no 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 no. but i mean how are they going to fix it oh um i because, think they're just making it stronger or more powerful or something like he said he's got something that can uh he can improve it to support the extra branches but they currently it's not set up to do that because Kang's got that little thing that he but, put in yeah. his bag. But, but didn't didn't OB design that, though? Wasn't that a part of the TVA guidebook? Possibly. Or do you reckon that Kang's invented that after reading the, the guidebook, maybe? Could be. Mm. But either way... Like, like, here's a little thing that I've... This should solve the loom problem. Yeah, but if, if you get um, one or the other, though, right? Either you get Kang to open the door so you can fix it yourself. Or Kang brings the, or you get his device. The, oh, I suppose you still need to get in it, but then they need Miss Minutes. Yeah, that's what Miss Minutes is for, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so and also they, from the looks of her, Kang. she she will not be willing to help at all. No, she's definitely not. She's properly to turned into a maniac at this point. But maybe that that she's always been that way. I guess, but she was also like she was the AI for the whole TVA. But once Kang's gone, like because she's obviously loyal to. To Kang. No, more than loyal, apparently. Well, oh, yeah. Um, also, co- like, I, the, the, it's so weird. She's like, "Why don't you build a body so I could fuck you?" <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's not specifically what she said, but <laughs> uh, basically, it's what she was getting. At. <laughs> that was the insinuation of it. Um, it's she's she got a bit creepy. Yeah, very. Well, I'll say a bit very. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I don't. I don't like this Miss Minutes. I found her quite endearing in the in the first season. I, I don't know. know. I, she's going a I, bit I, mental, but yeah. But that that's I kind of dig the fact that she's starting to lose her mind a bit, hmm. or she's she's going to do whatever she can in order to get her version of Kang back. So it it could be even like she's like, oh, um, the, you know, this, this we, we need to go to this point in time and drop this book through this window. It's, it's all part of his plan. I've got a feeling it's probably not. I think it's part of her plan to get him back. Yeah. So she's going to do whatever she can to get any of the variants that she can to the same Kang that she knew. That or potentially just find a Kang that could fall in love with her, and then she gets what she wants. I think that's. I think that's a bigger part of it that she's in love with him. So it's not necessarily to they need to get Kang back or like the timeline's fucked. She wants Kang back. Yeah, I think that. Yeah, that may, would make more sense given yeah. what she's doing so far yeah especially the way the, the, I mean she, she specifically does say it but the, like, the way that she was like evilly and uh, Renslayer and that as, as they got a little bit closer. yeah also yeah, yeah. where the foot did he put like you know when he gave her that flower thing yeah yeah where did that come from <laughs> I think it was just like a piece of paper or something yeah but he didn't fold anything he just gave well, it to her. But he was on that boat. You've got to assume that they were on that boat for a bit. Enough time That's for him to there. fold the paper, I guess. I guess. Um, but also, with um, with the end of that episode, where we've got um, Sylvie booting... Like, she loves kicking someone through a time door, doesn't she? And yeah, that seems to be a, a go-to. She's That's her hair flick. <laughs> yeah. She hasn't got the hair to flick anymore, so she does a time door boot instead. Um. <laughs> But she boots her through to the end of the end of the time thing or whatever, um, and then Miss Minutes is like, "Oh my god, I've got a secret for you!" Dun dun dun. 
does that mean that Renslayer is a Kang variant? Oh. That would be my guess. It's, it's, she's saying, like, oh, I'll tell you what this big secret is, but it's going to make you real angry. And oh, it's like, him. yeah, because you're another one. Like Sylvie mm -hmm. and Loki. Yep. I don't know if I like that. It would be a bit sort of like, oh, and, oh okay, so it's another person with another variant that's just a, a different version of the same person. Like, if it was like 50 John Majors in a room, mm. not the Prime Minister, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... I don't know, I think, I, I think that would be pretty good. I wouldn't see that going. Maybe, yeah. I wouldn't see that going, no. But, it, you know, and there's like this... But, you know, one's a steampunk one, and one's a Rick variant like it's he's it's in the lab coat with a portal gun or whatever mm. if you did that i'd be like oh, okay well that's that's kind of great but to go oh here's another variant and it's a gender swap one which is what we did with loki and then maybe you're gonna fall like because again they were sort of flirting and you know there was some sort of tension there so that means that you do okay well it's another variant different gender but you're both into each other again at that you kind of just doing it's the Marvel. The it's the staple, I was going to say right? it's, you're doing the Marvel thing where you're just going. It's the same thing again, and it's the bad guy the this powers. time. Yeah, but exactly. Yeah. What this does open up the doors for them, the time doors to be booted through, <laughs> is if they do get rid of Jonathan Majors because of the allegations. Ah, then there's your, there's new your answer. That's not a bad little shout. Mm. I think I think you're I think you're onto something there. Maybe um, it's just that when when she's like, "Oh my god," secret could it be that that's exactly what I was going to say. I don't know what else you do, or she'd be like, "Oh, um, this isn't actually the end of time," or you, you know, actually you were wrong in everything you've been doing, or you know, all of this doesn't revolve around Kang; it revolves it revolves around me. Mm. You know, I, this is all my plan. This is all my work. It's not it's not anything to do with Kang at all. Like that would be annoying because then you'd be like, "Oh, I've just gone back in time. And I was going to kill a guy." And no, nah, because she's it... she's very much because she she specifically says he's got a secret. Like it's something he knows about you. Not no, you. I thought I Don't. no no I thought was, <laughs> I, I thought she said I I know a secret about you that will make you angry. I'm sure Maybe she's, she's a Hulk. I'm, I'm sure she says. He, oh. you, you, honestly, you could be right. I, I, I don't have remember. To, I'm going to have to rewatch it for that. But I, I do think yeah, yeah. you're onto something. If only as a, a scapegoat, because they have already sacked him off. I and don't know. Just, I, it's just not public knowledge yet. I, I think we, I think we did discuss this last time that there's mm. no, there's no official. You know, we've cut ties with this no. guy anymore. Um, so it could just play out, and this. Um, you know, sort of like Doc Brown Kang that we've got at the moment. Also, like she was saying, like, oh, you know, he's got all the powers, he's all the abilities or whatever. This guy's got no powers. Like, is it just assumed that a Kang will just develop some abilities of some kind? Or is it just certain Kangs that have certain abilities? Like, they well, can fly and make shit or whatever. I assume, right, because a lot of the stuff... Have we seen him use powers without his suit? Um, well, in Quantum Mania, he was obviously he was like building cities and flying around mm. and do whatever. But, but like you say, I'm pretty sure suit. the suit that was like drawing energy from the oh, I can't remember exactly what it was now. It was like a battery that was like yeah, it, 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 it was like powered by fucking death or something. I can't. I honestly, I can't remember. Um, it's why Michelle Pfeiffer. Freaks the fuck out as soon as she meets yeah. this guy after you know he's, he's being dead nice or whatever. He's like his ship's powered by death or whatever. Um, but when, when else have we seen him? So we've seen we've seen this version obviously. We've seen him end of time version. But is that just he's a guy who's just incredibly smart and he's seen all of time. Like if he had the abilities, he wouldn't have let himself get stabbed, would he? No, I mean again, he, but that version of Kang was very much the. If things are going to happen, they're going to happen. Mm. And he was... He could have just been an immortal. Yeah, he like... like he, he can he... die, but he wouldn't die of natural causes. Yeah. And th there's... Every, uh, same as Owen Wilson and everybody else at the TVA, who seemingly don't age because of the TVA and how it works. Well, yeah, they're not in time, technically. Yeah. yeah. So, again, that's another thing for, for Kang. And if he can harness that 
kind of not necessarily power, but if you can harness the way that it works, i.e., through a suit. Yeah. Um, and it, obviously smart enough to develop these these other things to do with time and because obviously with this version of th- this this particular character, not this version of Liberia, but Kang is in, as a character. When he's so like when he's building things, because he is in control of time, it could just be that it's just being built normally, but he's just gone to a point in time where it's finished. <laughs> like, it's not obviously that at all, but it, it's not specifically pointed out in Quantum Mania or in the last season of Loki or up to now that he has got powers like natural powers. Yeah, because like Thanos doesn't have. Like, no, he's just super strong, isn't he? Yeah, he's he's strong, but again, it would be reasonable to suspect that that's just his species are also yeah, very yeah. similar to that. But he doesn't, you know, he can't fly, he can't make gold out of the air, he can't do any of that. But as soon as he gets the stones, that's when he can start throwing planets about. Yeah. So it could just be, you know, he's lived so long, uh, he he knows what's going to to happen because it has to happen a certain way or something like that. Yeah. Um, but like you say, if he's sort of like in his own time loop, he's giving himself. It's like Rick. It's like Rick. You know, he vents a portal gun, and then someone from another reality comes and says, "He's had to do it properly, and you can just explore all of time and space now." So a Rick at some point developed that, and then gave it to all the other Ricks. But that doesn't mean that they all invented it. Did that happen? No. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't think that. I'd love it too, but no, I don't think so. Oh, gee, <laughs> Loki. <laughs> like, I think I, I think Owen Wilson would make an excellent Morty. <laughs> like, Probably, yeah. I don't. I don't think wow. you know who Morty is, though. <laughs> That's a good point, though. The fact that it was, it, again, it might not be this particular variant of Kang, but another one could come, and then go. Well, what if you know if he's if happen. he's going through a million billion multiverses looking at it all of his you know he's got his, his kang the citadel of kangs i guess um and he found a kang that was a female and was very good at administration i was like well i'm going to build this thing that's outside to like uh, outside of time and space to control or maintain time and space this kang would actually be really useful for that because they're good at yeah. like keeping shit in check or whatever because that's exactly what she says she's like Look how fucking look how everything fell apart as soon as I left. So maybe she was the one that was kind of keeping everyone in check and making sure that everything was done properly. So if he just took another can, wiped their memory, and just put them in charge of the TVA, I suppose that's one person that he knows that he could trust. Even after they found out the truth that the the time lords or whatever, um, they weren't real. She was like, doesn't matter. Still need to protect the timeline and the guy at the end of time. Yeah, I've got. Yeah, I'll just do what he says instead. Then he's the one who's going to bring order to chaos. Because I was unsure, Dan, and I don't want to make an assumption. I've just uh, very quickly googled it for Kang's powers MCU, mm. and we are bang on the money. So uh, Kang the Conqueror's powers in the MCU have not been explained, but it's clear they come from advanced technology rather than DNA. In Ant Man yep. and the Wasp: Quantum Mania, Kang's powers are shown to be dependent on his suit as he loses his abilities when it's damaged. Yeah, that's right. So That's why a single man. man can beat the shit out of him. Yeah. Well, not, he's not just a man. He was a man, so he still has. It's it's irrelevant. <laughs> it's a man. It's a small man with with super strength and shrinking and growing. This guy apparently built a city in an entire universe that's outside of time and space, and he got beaten up by a single man. Get, Ridiculous. No, he got he got beaten up by millions of super advanced ants. <laughs> oh God, I've forgotten about the ant army. <laughs> But again, that's just a variant. It is, and I like the fact that it's not like, oh, it's it's the Quantum Mania uh, Kang that's back for revenge or whatever. It's like, no, it's a totally different dude. Yeah, I mean, it's but, a, it's a, it's a jail card, isn't it? Well, it, but, but that's the thing. So does that mean that the Quantum Mania Kang is not a part of the sacred timeline because it's within the quantum realm? Uh, is, is that what it's saying, basically, that that's the quantum realm... Is that out? Is that another branch no, it's, of it's the, out, yeah, the sacred it's, timeline? It's outside of the timeline because that's why the the snap didn't affect Ant Man. Yes, that's right. That, that was the whole reasoning for the time travel thing, and the only yeah, reason yeah, the yeah. TVA allowed it was because it was setting things right. Yeah. So okay, so that Kang, that's one variant. So let's say that that's out outside of the sacred timeline, and then we've got the Kang at the end of the universe, who is. 
it, but yes, but is that because he remains as the last person as part of the sacred timeline, or does I... he exist outside of the sacred timeline? I mean, I assume he exists outside of it just because of where he is, but they they went to quite quite the trouble of explaining that he's the only thing stopping all of the Kang variants from right. storming then, the place. This would be my question then, because this Kang, this Victor Timely Kang that we've seen, mm. he clearly has been born and exists within the Sacred Timeline, yeah. which means that all other Kangs cannot be from the sacred timeline they would have to be from a multiple uh, like a, a multi-dimensional different version of earth that has a different kang so oh. if this kang dies your mcu normal canon end game iron man all of that sort of stuff happened this happened a hundred years before that and then he disappeared off the face of the earth so if any other kangs are from that universe then it doesn't make any sense Probably. Any other Kangs would have to come from a different dimension. I would assume, based on... So, Quantum Mania Kang yep. had travelled around the galaxy. This is my thinking. So, Destroying if they say stuff. that the Quantum Mania one, that's a different Kang that doesn't come from the Sacred Timeline and the, time, uh, the, the Man at the End of Time, that's also... It doesn't exist within the Sacred Timeline. That's a different Kang. But if they're saying that these are all from like the the normal standard timeline, then how could you have three of the same people within the same well, timeline? I I would assume, uh, um, he who remains Kang isn't from the sacred timeline. Quantum Mania Kang is from the sacred timeline, and this new Kang, this has come from from a branch. No, no, no. But that's my point exactly. Because in this, when it goes. Bang, Chicago, 1893, sacred timeline. Which well, means that, that yeah. what we've yeah, seen, yeah, yeah. that has to be the guy from the sacred timeline. Which means that either the Quantum Mania Kang... This, this is Quantum Mania Kang. But uh, that's exactly my point. Is that the same guy a million years in the future and then he's got off exploring the multi-dimensions or whatever? Or, you know, the, the quantum realm? Or... Is it a different Kang altogether and the quantum realm is just somewhere he ended up? Because wasn't he like exiled or whatever into the quantum realm by all the other Kangs? No, the other way around. He they exiled. Ex yeah, yeah all like the they, they managed to exile all the other ones. Because the other ones were like the conquerors. And this one, who was, who was in Loki season one, was like the pacifist. Gotcha. At least that's how he explained that. Might not be true, obviously. Right. It's a, it's okay. a Kang. I think you're forgetting a massive point here, Daniel. Oh, go on. They probably fucked it up. <laughs> because it's <laughs> no, time-based. I, <laughs> I, I don't think that's the case. I think that I think they're establishing that these three separate Kangs don't all exist with it. Like, they weren't all born on Earth in the, the same timeline as this Victor Timely Kang. I think they're all from different versions of Earth, but they don't need to exist within a normal time stream, I guess. It could also come from somewhere else. And A land down under, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Um, I do think you're on the money, though, with Renslow. Potentially. It's just and that I if... I hope if, not. It, it, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I was going to say. It, it, would be, it would be a bit sort of like, oh, so it's, it's Sylvie again. Yeah. But instead of it being Kang the Conqueror, whatever, it's Renslayer the Administrator. <laughs> Hasn't got the same ring to it. Not really, no. <laughs> but then does that mean that she goes, oh, well, I'm a cat. Well, then shouldn't I be the one who's in charge of the same? Like, do you know what I mean? That could be a complete switch for her to be like, well, then I'll be the guy in charge of everything. But that, that's what I mean. That, that's your easy win for if they are going to cut ties with Johnson Majors. You, you haven't replaced the character. You've replaced the actor, the actor doing it. Yeah, that's true. It's the same character because it's the same as if Loki dies and Sylvie takes over. Yep, you, you've, already, you've already ticked that box. Yep. Yeah. Um, because people will go, oh yeah, from the show, yeah, I know who that is. Yeah. I understand why she's replacing him. Got it. I mean, it, it, fucking, like James Bond and Doctor Who and stuff, you know who the fuck it is. Yeah. Just a different person. <laughs> Just put the horns on her head, you'll get it, yeah. Yeah. Does that mean that Doctor Strange then, was he like, do you reckon that when he, in um, 
Infinity War when he's like, oh, I looked at like 14 million different outcomes and there's only one where we win. Do you reckon he was like looking at other branches of the timeline? Potentially. Like, so there'd be like 14 million branches where they had this same kind of fight and mm. every time they lost, but there's only one, which is a part of the sacred timeline, I assume, that, that they pull it off. I sh- also, isn't that cheating? <laughs> if you find out exactly how you beat someone and then use the same method to beat him again. I mean, yeah, it's 100% cheating. <laughs> but I don't think that... They... But then why wouldn't you put like a time spell or something like that on Scarlet Witch? Uh, oh, Black Widow, sorry. Where someone she jumps off that fucking cliff. You know she's going to have to do that. Um, so again, it, it's one of them that like, like Strange says when he gives Thanos the stone. He ha- The only way we win, it, this is the way that we win. So mm. that would be the same logic that the only way it would work was if Black Widow died and not Hawkeye. If Hawkeye died, it might not have worked. Yeah, I guess. It's, I'm not saying it's accurate, but in terms of the, the logic that they lay out when, when they're going through it, it makes sense. Mm. Again, not saying it's right, but it's... In terms of other... The, the way, like the way that time travel is explained in a lot of other things, they did it in a very like time travel for dummies way mm. and it still doesn't make any sense because it's time travel but you could use the same argument and the TVA go well no because Doctor Strange is looking through all the different timelines and he shouldn't know all of this stuff Yeah. but so does that mean that the like Andrew Garfield and that that's a branch <laughs> yeah potentially that would be cool wouldn't it actually they came over so they're a variant or Tom Holland's a variant of one of them that kind of so thing. yeah, that could be it. Like they they may not be that specific about it. When say like, oh, this Spider Man that we all know, that's a variant of these other Spider Man. Yeah. Like that would be like, oh, okay, well now it makes sense that they're all three different guys. Because because that's what that's what they've done with Loki. Like you've got Tom Hiddleston Loki who we know. Yeah, and you've got Richard E. Grant Loki, and you've got yeah. Loki that's a crocodile. They don't and all need to look like Tom Sylvie, Hiddleston, etc. And yeah, are, yeah. the only one we've had. Was... I've never even thought of that, Cam. That's a really good point. Mm. That's probably Have exactly you thought about what it, it is. Just, to be honest, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but the obviously when we see all of the Kangs at the end of season one of Loki, they're all John Mayers, and that's not saying that they are. That's all of them. That's just some of them. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, you can go to the podcast versus player website, which is www.podcastversusplayer.com. But you can see more spoiler cast, including the first two episodes of Loki Season 2, as well as other shows and movies that we've spoiler casted. Um, there's also Let's Plays, game shows, and much, much more. Dan, yep. get out of here, mate. Let's do it. Let's do it. See you later. Bye. Bye.